So draw an umbrella in the bunker like this and draw, you know, five or six lines. And then for me to make a divot on each line, I've got to aim myself, all right? So I'm aiming myself, there's my low point. Here's my low point, here's my low point. See how the low point changed as I re-aimed myself. So if I know my low point is in this spot right here, and I just put the ball ahead of that point, I don't have to worry about hitting behind the ball. Okay, today we're here with teaching professional Brian Dobby, and Brian, I gotta work on my green side bunkers. It's been a little bit of a trick here trying to get this figured out, and I've lost a lot of strokes right here, getting close to the green and just trying to get it up and down from this location. So I think what I've gotten at this point is that I've overcomplicated it for myself. Okay. I'm just thinking about too much. So I want, if you could, help with a simple plan to try to safely get this up and on that green and give me a putt at it. All right, sounds, sounds good. Let's start out with, um, hit a couple for me. I'm gonna film you and I gotta look at your pattern and see what you do, all right? Got it, sounds good. So that was better than most of mine, but I, as you see, I, I carried it pretty darn far and I got, I'm staring down a difficult two putt there. All right, so let's, let's start with your technique, all right? A couple things in your setup, all right? You've got a lot of leaning to the right with your body, okay, like this at a dress, and you, okay. and you push the handle forward, all right? So in terms of the body, what's gonna happen to your divot if your body pushes to the right? Is it gonna move to the right or left? Go further behind the ball. Correct, yeah. so controlling the divot is the key thing in a bunker shot, where, where we strike the ground, and as our body tilts, that's gonna affect the divot either right or left. The second thing is that address, you're pushing the handle forward, and what's that, what's, what's that gonna do to the loft of a We're club? We're de-lofting it. You're de-lofting it, so you're, you're hitting shots with a 60 degree wedge too far, mm -hmm. all right? So you're, we want to use more loft and bounce, okay? So we're gonna change your setup a little bit. So go ahead and set up. Okay. Now, your axis is your spine here. Now see this little tilt you yes. do? Yes, yeah. Okay, it's gotta go the other way. Interesting. All right, and I want you to feel like the shaft is straighter at a dress with a little bit more loft, okay, like that, all right? So you're gonna focus on your shoulders being more there. Now. What I'm gonna do here, Frank, is just, the ball is gonna go a little bit more forward in your stance. Okay. You're gonna feel like your shoulders are more level. Okay. And the shaft is straighter there, all right? So now what we want is to release this club more to here, okay? Mm -hmm. You're chasing it like that, okay? So we're gonna release it and feel like it's kinda closer Coming to here. your left pocket, all right? Okay. Now, let's just start, see if we can, Control the divot better there, all right? All right, so hit one for me there. And so try we're to... just releasing here. Correct. More here. Correct. And okay. I want you to feel like you're gonna hit, hit the ground right around there. Oh, so much softer. Okay, there. Yeah. a little bit better there. Yep. Well, let me show you a quick drill here. Okay. So understanding where the club hits the ground. I call it the umbrella drill. So draw an umbrella in the bunker like this, and draw you know five or six lines. And then your goal here, set up square, and then for me to make a divot on each line, I've got to aim myself, all right? So I'm aiming myself, there's my low point. Here's my low point, here's my low point, here's my low point, here's my low point. See how the low point changed as I re-aimed myself. So how's that affect the bunker shot? If I know my low point is in this spot right here, and I just put the ball ahead of that point, I don't have to worry about hitting behind the ball, okay? So understanding your tilts and where the divot is gonna end up is, is really important in understanding the bunker shot. So okay? what I'm hearing is so much of this is in the setup in your, more than correct, anything else. Correct, The two things you do are you lean right and you push the shaft forward. Yep. Reverse those two. Much, you hear the sound of that one? It was a totally different sound. Yeah. So we're starting to get the, the divot in the right spot. So now the second thing is distance control. Mm -hmm. What can we do to hit a higher shot? Well, we can add more loft to the club, all right? And we can swing a little easier, okay? That's a power source. So let's try that. Now, open up the club a little bit more and let it release. Okay, better. Oh, that's much better. Good. 
think I can make that putt. <laughs> We're getting there with the, the divot control and now the power source. You know, for, if I know where this point is, that's my low point, yep. all right? And I've got the ball ahead of it, all right? So you wanted a simp simple setup. Now, if my weight moves right, where's my divot going? Behind it. Right, if I bend right, where's my divot going? Same, behind. Yeah. All right, so structurally, you're establishing these two parts. This is stable, this is stable. Now, I've, I, can hit, I can hit my shot, all right, and just let the, cl the club release. Yeah. And you can see where my divot was? My pattern was right there, yep. right where it was supposed to be. Beautiful there, Frank, beautiful. That one felt spectacular. Yeah. So and you hear the sound of that, a little bit more bounce to the club. Absolutely. Okay. So as, as the club bends this way, you start to lose bounce. As it bends this way, we gain more bounce and more loft. You know, think of your body as a tripod. You know, you're setting the angles at a dress, and they're going to influence the path and the angle of attack of the golf club. Yeah. Right? So get set right, and the rest will kind of help take care of itself. Correct. Now, the club's responsibility is, you know, you want more loft than bounce, so bending the club this way, right, you're, take, lose you're, you're losing both, so for you, straighten that out, feel like your shoulders are set like this, and then, then hit your shot. Beautiful there. Yeah. So much different. So miles different. All right, well, I know I can get in here and practice it, but like I said, this is great to know now that if I can get set in the right position, because this seems like a, such a complicated shot for so many golfers, but if we can start in the right place, at least the rest will kind of take care of itself. So Correct. appreciate Correct. you demonstrating that for us today. Yeah. That was a lot of help. Thank you so much. Good luck with it. Thanks.